there's been a lot of thinking and a lot of discussion, of course, about what being a Jew is and, you know, all of this since October 7th and since what Israel's doing, there's been a lot more discussion, I think, about was Jesus a Jew? What is a Jew? What is Judaism? Is it a race? Is it an ethnicity? Is it a religion? Right. right? There's all of these kind of questions. What do you think it is? I mean, for me, I definitely identify as Jewish and I definitely identify as not religious. So I think it can be, I mean, this may be a little problematic to say, but for so long, like you didn't have a choice about whether to identify as Jewish. It wasn't a question of religion. It was just like, if your name was something people would know, like my yeah. mom's last name is Eisenberg. When she was growing up, like kids from the Irish Catholic schools would throw rocks at her and her brother. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, there were Jewish neighborhoods historically. There were like Jewish professions or things that Jews couldn't do. So it used to not be a choice. And I feel like that, I actually, I mean, this is, this may be sound weird also given my politics because I'm so against the weaponization of anti-Semitism, but I do think anti-Semitism had a large role in shaping Jewish identity. I mean, I think being a persecuted minority can shape your identity and it can shape it in two ways. And this is, I think, what like a real question facing the Jewish community is right now, which is that for some Jews, the Holocaust takeaway is never again just for Jews. And we don't really care about anyone else. In fact, we will ethnically cleanse other people. And then for other Jews, and I would obviously identify with this group, never again means never again for anyone. And it's the stuff that happened to us historically that would make us more sensitive to other people's suffering and not want to inflict that on anyone else. Right. To be able to spot it, you would think that you know, that's what never again always seemed to, I'm not Jewish, but it, that that's what it meant to me was always like recognizing history, studying history and being able to spot it again. Right. You know, in my mind, the likelihood that it would happen to Jews again was like uh, minimal. It, to me, it would obviously happen to a different group. And the whole point was to pay attention to the warning signs. Right. Yeah. And you see like the way that, I mean, Palestinians are compared to vermin, mm -hmm. the way that Jews were compared to vermin. Um, you know, they're portrayed as rats in certain cartoons. Um, the way that they're concentration camps. And I know a lot of people don't like doing the comparison. They think it trivializes it or they think it helps uh, Zionists like uh, portray us as irresponsible. But there are parallels and there are Holocaust survivors who make those parallels. And, you know, the thing is, it doesn't have to be exactly identical for the message to be this is still not good. Like, right. yeah, there are not industrial um, death camps. They are not industrialized the way they were during the Holocaust. Um, but is that really like the takeaway of, of never again should be never again exactly this way, but if it's other people and if it's done not quite as uh, in, in a way that's less mechanized, then it's okay. Or people will say, well, if we wanted to, if Israel wanted to, they would kill all of them and they haven't. So it's not genocide, which is not the definition of genocide, by the way. Right. Yeah. But that to me, like, is the radical tradition that I come from and the radical tradition my family comes from and the radical tradition that my camp, you know, uh, was founded in. This yeah. Jewish identity meant a solidaristic internationalist identity and diaspora identity. And there's a lot of hatred of that coming from Israeli Zionists or American Zionists. Yeah. In thinking about it a lot, I do feel like the most dangerous aspect to this is I think it boils down to the belief of whether or not one believes being a Jew is a race or an ethnicity or a religion, um, because the whole concept of Israel, right, is that it's a home for Jews in an ethnic and racial sense, not even a religious sense. Right. Because they're but saying, if you well, convert, there's but if you convert, see, this is where it gets complicated. It's like right. if you convert. To me, I grew up thinking, like, honestly, you can convert to be a Jew. And, I, and you and I have both had on Rabbi Yaakov Shapiro, and he and yeah. I disagree on this. Because to me, I don't feel like I'm not Jewish just because I don't believe in God. In fact, I think it's a very Jewish thing, even rabbinical thing, to question, to be agnostic. There's so much questioning in the, in, in the rabbinical uh -huh. tradition and skepticism. Um, he thinks that being Jewish just means being a practicing Jew. So, so for him, it's Ivanka a religion. Trump is is Jewish. Yeah. Okay. I don't think Ivanka Trump is Jewish. I mean, I, I that's <laughs> because I can't stand her. I don't want her associated with me. But I mean, I guess it's up to. I, I think that there's a difference though between being a Jew who comes like from a historically Jewish family and being a convert. 
Sure. Um, uh, so I, I do, t I, before, I mean, before all of this, and I was forced to de to think deeper about things and issues, right? I would just say that being Jewish was an ethnicity and a religion yeah. and maybe even a race because like you said, people would look at you and say, oh, Katie, I could tell you're Jewish, right? right? Like just by, although to me, it's like you could be Italian. If no, you told me I, you were yeah, Italian, I'd be really like, oh, okay. With me, it's more cultural signifiers. Sure, like, right, okay, you know, right. Yeah. Well, the and same thing. there's some people like, who are like, I have no idea what you're talking about and other people I think who know a certain like New York Jew type God, we're gonna get in trouble for this conversation, right? People are gonna call me a Nazi or something. Yeah. Oh uh, well, that's, you know, yeah. I'm sure they've already Nothing been coming after us, you. Right? right. Yeah. Nothing new. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I guess I, you know, I didn't spend a whole lot. Of, I did live in New York for a bit on the Upper West Side. I don't know if I would have noticed a difference, honestly, between a yeah. New York Jew or a New York Italian. Italian to be right. honest, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> looks right. the same, acts the same, talks the same. You know, I there's a lot of. I was like, lots of people used to think I was Latina, which I loved, of course. Yeah, I mean, you could be anything, right, yeah, to be yeah. honest with you. Um, I guess, though, in thinking about this more, I, I think I do now. I, so it's so I, I half agree with with uh, Rabbi Shapiro, in that I do believe if you're religiously Jewish, no matter what, like even Ivanka, I suppose, right. then there, you're Jewish. It's a religion that makes you Jewish. However, I understand the culture aspect. It's like I celebrate Christmas, like this right. Sunday's Easter. I'm going to have an Easter Sunday dinner. But what what do we do at my Easter? Because we're not religious, we color eggs, we have an Easter yeah. bunny basket, you know, we eat like Easter food. It's not religious for us at right. all. It's a culture. We've been doing it culturally, Easter egg hunts and Easter baskets and all, you know, that's something we've been doing for my whole life and generations before me on my dad's side. Same thing with Christmas. Like I, we celebrate Christmas. We're big on to Christmas in this house, but you wouldn't see a single baby Jesus in our house. Yeah. Like it's, my dad it's, has my dad who's very interested in other religions, as I referred to Hinduism. He has a crash that he likes to set up, which is funny. And it's so I mean, yeah. you're right. So it's it's uh, so we're culturally Christian in right. this house and culturally Buddhist, to be honest, as well, because I come from both. Yeah. But I wouldn't. So I would say we're Christian in that we're Christian culturally. Right. But we don't sell. I mean, I don't think my husband's ever been to church in his life, to be honest. Um, not a day in his life. I was, however, Mormon for many years. I converted oh. to Mormonism and I was a, a very devout practicing Mormon for a solid wow. 15 years. Wow. I didn't know so that. So this, yeah, <laughs> I stopped many years ago. Um, w but w when I look at Mormonism and Jews, it's similar to me in that Mormons have a specific culture that over generate it's different than uh, and and mormons were very persecuted so right. mormons were driven out of all from new york all the way through to the midwest and then driven all the way to utah they were tarred and feathered they were persecuted they were you know and they had funny beliefs funny different you know funny ways of life like polygamy and things like that right, right? so there was definitely a culture there and then you know, it's it's too, you, you can almost look at people in like where I'm from in Idaho and Utah and know who's a Mormon mm -hmm. based on looks. Really? And it's yeah, it's like because they interbreed. There's a lot they don't really you know, they're marrying each other. Right. They're they're sticking with each other culturally, which kind of creates then a genetic pool that then there would be similar last names, similar sure. Uh, looks right. That kind of con although Mormons are big on conversion, so they like. Right, to that was, that's what I was thinking. In. Like one, one of the differences between Judaism and or or Jewishness, because again, I'm not Judea. I don't believe in Judaism, which is right. you know I'm Jewish, but right. I'm a Jew. But um, one of the things that makes I think Jew Jewishness not just a religion, even though it used to obviously be defined by religion, but it doesn't proselytize. I right. mean, people, you can right. convert, but some people are very hard on it, you know, and it's a much harder process than converting to Islam, which is very easy in terms of well, like the rituals. I'm not talking about. Well, that's about why I think it becomes, it, it's developed in what looks more like an ethnicity or right. a race because, because so of the, right, the lack the of the intermixing. Yeah. When right. you don't bring in genetic, uh, yeah. you know, diversity, you're going to end historically, up. historically, and I don't want to, I would never tell someone who's like half black, half Jewish, um, that they're not. Jewish. Right, right. Well, but, that they would be Sephardic or something or No, pro well it depends if they're Well, that's the other thing. There's Sephardic and there's Mizrahi and there's Ashkenazi, which is Right. And like Ashkenazis, we get like it's funny. We're whenever I I'm guilty of this too. When I say it's Jewish or Jewy, like 
Like the Woody Allen, he's problematic, obviously, but like Larry David is very Jewish, very yeah. like he's secular. He and but the truth is he's not very Jewish. He's very Ashkenazi Jewish, which is uh -huh. a different thing. That's like the Eastern Europeans, like my family is. Um, but Sephardic Jewish culture is very different. And then Mizrahi Jewish culture, which are the Jews who stayed in the Middle East, is different too. Sephardics are the ones who went to Spain. Right. And so that's why to me it's not really like a race or an ethnicity because like with Mormons, for example, there's a massive Mormon population in Brazil. They were able to like conversion oh, right. in Brazil is like at rapid wildfire pace in Brazil. Um, whereas other parts of the world, conversion is extremely slow. Like in Europe, there's like very, very few converts to Mormonism, but in Brazil and Latin America, it's like massive. Yeah. Um, so, but, but to me, there's parallels there in that, you know, you've got a small community that's kind of looked at as weird. And so they keep to themselves. They, you know, th historically, right. Um, yeah. they then intermarry, newer, obviously. Yeah. And then there's also a lot of my Mormon friends are no longer practicing Mormons, but they're uh, still pretty Mormon. I mean, they right. like do things that are like Mormon-esque. I, I mean, I've even met people where I'm like, are you Mormon? And they're like, no, no. I mean, I grew up Mormon, but, and I'm like, right. yeah, I could tell. Right? right. Because they had culture, they had certain you aspects Mormon about door. them. More yeah. Dark. Right. Where they would, they would do things like family night, Monday family night. And I'm like, oh yeah, that's totally a Mormon thing. Mm. So there were things that are culture. So that's why I think and I think it's important to to figure this out because that's the whole premise of Zionism, right? The whole premise is this is a place for Jews, but you have to be able to define what a Jew is in order to then right. say this is a home just for Jews. Right, which is why like Yaakov Shapiro is so against Israel because he thinks it makes a this this like and this is, I mean, I understand that point, but it is also like, it wasn't up to us before whether or not to identify that way. Right. Which he also made that point. So I thought yeah. that was, you know, that's right. Like he, cause he, he would say that, you know, Jews would try to convert or say, I'm not Jewish. I'm just secular. Right. Yeah. Um, I think, I think for the ones that converted, there was assimilation. There must've been because we know now, like, for example, like the 12 tri. you know, if you go back to biblical times, like the 12, there's so much conversion that has happened out yeah. of Judaism. And those people are now like totally with like unidentifiable within all of these various different groups, like within Islam and within Christianity and within all, yeah. all over the place. But if you stay secular and culturally Jewish, right, those, those communities were definitely pointed out and were ridiculed. And he brought that up and that, so, I mean, that's where I, I agree more that it's, it's not just if you religiously identify, I do think if you culturally are also part of that group, then you could be identified with that group. Yeah. Well, also given that so much of Israel, I mean, the mythology of Israel or the justification for Israel is so much based on the Holocaust. Hitler didn't care if you were religious, like for Hitler being, obviously it was a cultural racial thing because right. he believed in race science. Um, but he, you, I think, had to have one Jewish grandparent. So, right. which is like to the extent that people are trying to found, and I'm not justifying the founding of uh, of Israel at all, but obviously there were some people, I mean, it was a colonial project, which the Zionists themselves made clear through their language. But there is something about being Jewish that was obviously put you at risk. Right. And in that, and then I guess, I guess, though, when you convert, you kind of put yourself at risk, depending on, I don't know. But I understand the more ethnic, I understand how anti-Semitism's definition of Jewishness shaped Jewish identity. I also think, though, to your point about Hitler, don't you think that it would compel more Jews to say it's not a race, it's a religion, right? right? Like, if you're going to identify a religious group of people as a race, and then be racist against them in in extreme right. the way when that Hitler say, was. Yeah, when you say let's push back against that. Yeah, like what happens say, to all the Jews who felt Jewish but weren't religious? Well, it's it's just like I would celebrate Christmas for the rest yeah. of my life, even though I don't go to any church yeah. anymore. Like I don't, I'm not Christian. I'm more Buddhist, if anything, now. But I still celebrate Christmas. It's my biggest holiday yeah. besides Lunar New Year. But um, so yeah, I, I don't think that's, I think that's just like part of your culture, right? You celebrate certain holidays cause that's what your family has done forever and ever and ever yeah. traditionally. Yeah. But I think it's, it would be, it's dangerous. And that I, I think that's the point. It's dangerous to make it a really like to make it a race and an F, you know, I, it depends on your definition of ethnicity. I'd say it's a culture 
and I wouldn't go as far as to say it's an ethnicity or a race. And I think it's, that's the, that's the crux of the issue. Thank you for watching this clip from the Kim Iverson show. You could get the full show by going to kimiversonshow.com. The full show airs live streams every Monday through Friday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern. That is how you can catch the full show because this was just a little clip of it. It is free for you to watch. Just go there. It is it is censorship free and free to watch. So join us again over at kimiversonshow.com. That is where you can get the full thing. Thanks for watching.